Downtown Pittsburgh, it emptied out with the pandemic and has been slow to come back. Yeah, lack of that hustle and bustle as people continue to work from home and restaurants and stores are hurting for customers. Now, some are pinning their hopes on more workers returning this fall, but others have their doubts. KDK investigator Andy Sheehan joins us live downtown with a look, look at where things stand in the heart of our city. Andy. Well, Ken, the Pittsburgh Downtown Partnership says every major employer is asking its workers to come back next month, but so far they've had limited success. The lunchtime crowd at the Apollo Cafe isn't what it used to be when noontime hunger had office workers waiting out the door. I'll never see that ever again, my lines out the door. Between food costs, rents, we're like just making it right now. Even at midday, the streets of the Golden Triangle are mostly empty. Only about 40 to 45 percent of office workers are back, and most are working hybrid, Mondays and Fridays at home. The hope is more will return after Labor Day. We certainly heard some of the major companies um, talking about a big push for folks after summer vacation, school starting back up, uh, getting more people back into the office. Law firms, banks, and financial services firms want their workers back in the office. Though hopeful of a September surge, Downtown Partnership Director Jeremy Waldrip concedes every major employer has already attempted to coax them back with limited success. I think I've certainly hoped to see more people in, in downtown and in our office buildings. Um, I think it's, it's slow to come, um, but we're still very optimistic about the future of, of, of our region, of our city, and of downtown, which is a big kind of economic engine. Even those companies that are bringing people back are still downsizing their office space. The trend to work at home has resulted in a glut of office space, with big office towers now reporting 20 to 22 percent vacancies, a percentage that is already increasing as companies relocate or lease less space. Some, like the Gulf Tower, are now considering converting all that empty space to residential units, but real estate lawyer Kirk Berkeley says that won't turn things around. It's going to take a, a collective, concerted effort by uh, the business community and civic and government leaders. It's, it's not going to happen quickly. We're waiting for September. They're saying more people are coming, but I just don't see it. It keeps changing and changing and changing, but I think this is the new norm. And so September may turn out to be more of a trickle than a surge as downtown still struggles to come back. Reporting live downtown, Andy Sheehan, KDK News.